Yes, Cyberpunk is going through some growing pains. Yes, it is pretty drama filled with Sony kicking it off the platform and Xbox giving refunds, but this is what gamers need. We need buyer's protection and uh, CD Projekt Red, I feel, is doing everything they can uh, to make it right. With all that being said though, Cyberpunk's a huge game. There's a lot of stuff to do in here, a lot of cool stuff to do in here, fun stuff, and that's what we're going to go over today. Welcome to Chaos Gaming. We're going to go over some things you have to try in Cyberpunk 2077, uh, and they may not be on the set path of your character, but you need to try these things. You need to experience them. Make sure you guys share the page, turn on your notifications, share this around if you guys enjoy the Chaos, we'll call it the Chaos Network content. Let's get into it. First off. Do some stunts. Cyberpunk has a massive map and you can drive cars on just about any part of it. I mean, you know what that means. Remember GTA? You have tons and tons of room to go for some sick jumps and stunts. And stunt driving is a big part of other open world games like GTA and Saints Row, but you can get some awesome clips and screenshots in Cyberpunk. After all, the art style is amazing. And the cars, well, they're pretty cool. So what's not to like about some screenshots of you jumping over pedestrians or scaling a river? Find yourself a place that you want to do a stunt quick save so you can keep loading back and go for some cool pictures. Show us your best stunt. Choose a direction and go. Now this was a common activity in Skyrim when you were bored of doing side quest and main quest. You just wanted to find something new. Drop yourself into a random spot on the map, pick a direction and start walking. Maybe you'll find some cool Easter eggs. Maybe you'll find a new character who wasn't on your map. You never know. In an open world as deep and detailed as cyberpunk, you are not going to run out of things to do for a long time. And if you really want to savor your time with it and let things come naturally, try this next time. When you're finished with a side mission, just go somewhere random, pick a direction and start walking. Next up is visit the tallest building. One fun thing to do in every open world game is find the tallest point in the entire map and see how far you can go. Now, a lot of the time video games will have this super tall point, but you can only get a certain height up. The tallest point in Cyberpunk 2077 is the Arasaka Tower, which stands at 130 stories. Give it a visit, see how it compares to the other tallest points in other RPGs, and let me know what you think. Stop all the assaults. Now, when you look at your map in Cyberpunk, you will be able to see where all the assaults are taking place. If you want to give yourself something to do and also feel kind of good about yourself, be the hero, make it a personal challenge to stop every single assault that you possibly can. You can be the Batman that Night City never asked for. Whenever you come across an assault, stop and stop it. Jump, stop, whatever. And see how much experience you can get and also what the NPCs will think of you. You never know. You might meet some cool new characters while doing it. Do an evil run. When you finish an RPG for the first time, one of the first things people like to do is go back with a slight change. How much does the story change if I said no to that character or if I didn't skip that side quest or if I did something really, really bad? But one thing you can do, you can start the game over with a new character. Just make all the evil decisions you possibly can. Kill everything the game lets you. Be a selfish person to everybody and see just how differently the game ends up. And since we're on the topic, let's segue into the next one. Do a pacifist run. Now the pacifist run is also very interesting in RPGs, but in a different way. So instead of doing what comes naturally or just taking the evil route, try starting the game over with a brand new character. But you do everything as peacefully and nicely as possible. You care. Try to help every NPC who asks for it. Be a yes man. Do everything to boost your karma. And whenever the game gives you the choice to kill somebody, you let them live. Now obviously certain people have to die along the way in this game, but a pacifist run is always interesting in an RPG and sure, it's going to take a lot longer. You may get a little bored from time to time because you're saying yes to everybody who needs help, but it's still a very interesting twist and it could turn out super differently from your first run. If you've already gone through it and you're trying to find something for more replayability, here you go. How about driving from one end of the map to the other? One thing that's fun to do in an open world game like this is go on a road trip. See how long it will take you to get from one side to the other side. Try to get to the absolute edge of the map before you break the game, set a waypoint to the opposite end, and see just how long it takes you to actually get there. I'll give you bonus points if you somehow don't get distracted along the way, if you just go for it. Tell me, how long did it take you to get from the south side of the map to the north side? What about the east side to the west side? Maybe you want to do all four corners. Maybe you want to make a square. Can you guys beat your best times? Yes, fast travel was invented for a reason. I get that. But we're trying to find replayability and longevity here. So 
If we can all agree it would be more fun to do it this way, go for it. Clear an entire region. Anyone who's played an open world game knows what it's like to open their map and see a whole bunch of icons near where they are. But if you're a completionist or this bothers you, or just somebody that likes stuff to do, this bunch of icons could be what you need. Go to a random spot on the map and then make it your personal goal to clear out every single icon from that section of the map, be it a side quest or an encounter or a challenge, anything big or small, it doesn't matter. Go to a region on the map and try to completely clear it from objective-based markers. Now, some regions won't take as long as others, but some, they may occupy an entire day. Everybody loves collecting. Tell me in the comments, what do you collect? Do you collect anything odd? Do you collect cars? Cars are a huge part of any open world game and the cars in Cyberpunk are amazing. There's so many to choose from and each one will feel and handle a little differently. Now, if you've done, if you've done the main story, you're out of it and you're looking for something to fill the time, start a car collection. They can actually get pretty expensive, but hey, there's plenty of ways to make money in this game, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. Plus, if you need money for your next car, that's just more motivation to get back on the job and work for it. Now, I know eventually there will be a YouTube video of somebody who has every single car in Cyberpunk, but until that day comes, if it hasn't yet, you be the first. And finally, the GTA Challenge. In GTA games, people will often go for the six star challenge, which is where you're roaming around the open world and then you just start going on a massacre. See how quickly you can get to a six star rating and then see how long you can stay alive. You can actually do that in Cyberpunk, although it's not as intense. Save your game first, obviously, and then just start messing with everybody who can be messed with and see how much damage and carnage you can do before getting caught and actually taken down. Now make sure you kind of abuse the quick save so that way you don't permanently screw yourself up or whatever because you get to a point and it just loops and groundhog days on you. But the GTA challenge is a ton of fun in any open world game and Cyberpunk is no exception. And there you have it. Yes, the main mission is great. The side missions are great. The story is great. But there is so much else you can do to get your money's worth out of this game. You guys let me know the funnest thing you've came up with in Cyberpunk and I'll see you soon.